Hi everybody, this is Gary Weitz and I'm here with Cindy Taylor and she's going to tell us about a brand new Saluki litter. It is the Mazada Mata Shiraz litter, born May 25th, 2013. And Cindy, what a litter it is. I'm going to turn it over to you. Tell us all about it. Thank you, Gary. Well, it started with a wonderful, wonderful dream being fulfilled when I acquired my Delilah, who is bred by Michael and Elena Edwards, and she is out of the Best in Show winner Shiraz, Enchanted Shiraz Dreamcatcher, and out of Aga Khan, which is Uta's boy, Matasala Mata's Aga Khan, a Best in Show winner worldwide. And this little girl was just, she's been a delight, and when I acquired Tattoo, who is my Best in Show, Special She Show, Grand Champion, Zabies the Time of Your Life of Mazada, it was always with the intent that these two would be bred with the blessing of Michael and Elena and Uta. They have share many wonderful dogs in their pedigree and it felt very right. The vision of what I thought we could achieve um, I think was met. We have nine beautiful puppies and my dearest friends Elena Edwards, Brian Barth, and Uta all share in being co-breeders on this sweet little litter. They've been terrific puppies, and I'm very lucky to have all of my closest, dearest friends have the puppies from the litter. And you've got to tell us, you've got to tell us exactly why you called this litter the Loving Life Litter. The name came about because I, it's actually a very personal question. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> the name came about when I had um, developed some health issues and I felt that living and life is so important that I wanted the puppies to all have this vivacious, outgoing take on life and I thought that it would be a good way to kind of see a positive side to living, to have them. And, and they do, uh, I'm, uh, as an owner, my wife and I, Susan, are owners and uh, they do have a very positive, outgoing uh, kind of a personality. We can all attest to that. I wonder if you'd let uh, our audience know any thoughts or words you'd like to leave, maybe with the breeders or other Saluki owners. Well, um, on this particular litter, I, I would say from experience, nurturing them along, I was very, very, very lucky and fortunate to have my wonderful friend Elena come up from Temecula and spend so much time. Wow. Susan, Gary's wife, and Gary came up many times to see the puppies and just that's so important to have them socialized from a young age. Elena spent days and days and days in the whelping box. Uta came after her national assignment. Oh. Yeah, and then having all of that influence I think is so important to have them socialized, handled from an early age. Yep. And it has made these puppies are very hands-on, user-friendly. They love people. And I think that that is something that's very important. That I think, and I think, hopefully, all of the people who have the puppies can enjoy that aspect of their personality. We all will. Rest assured. Well, thanks very much, Cindy. You're welcome. We're going to turn this over to Elena Great. Edwards, the co-breeder. Okay. And thanks very much, and very best wishes Thank on you. every for every success with this wonderful, wonderful litter. Thanks. Gary. Thanks. And we're back now, and we've got Elena Edwards, as you heard from Temecula, California, the co-breeder. And uh, she had a great weekend, too. She had uh, three, I think it was three best of opposite sexes with this very huge entry here at Del Valle Show, the San Francisco Saluki Club specialty show here in October, a beautiful place. Okay, same questions now, Elena. Tell us about this litter. Well, of course, we were blessed to get our nine Sedona cons, of which Delilah, the mother of this litter, um, was born. And we were blessed to have wonderful people get our puppies, first and foremost of which was Cindy, who helped me whelp the Sedona con litter. And she picked Delilah out from a very early age. And they were just a, uh, it was just destiny that Delilah go with Cindy. And um, so when it was time for Delilah to be bred, we, we loved Tattoo and his pedigree. And of course, we were very excited about it. It was, it was truly Cindy's dream. And what a wonderful dream it was indeed, because um, the puppies uh, have, have wonderful qualities and uh, fabulous temperaments, and very much in part to Cindy's 
devotion to these puppies. It was a joy to be there and help in my little capacity when I was able to get up there. And uh, But Cindy and Brian, oh my gosh, they have just been wonderful puppy rearers. And all of our puppies are just uh, a joy to live with. And uh, I think I think a lot of people are going to be smiling at these puppies down the road. We're already smiling. <laughs> <laughs> We're enjoying We're our Bailey little deer very much. Yeah, Bailey Bear. I know they're just delightful puppies. Okay. Any thoughts or words you'd like to leave with our audience? Well, again, as um, as Cindy mentioned earlier, socializing Saluki puppies is very important. Breeding dogs that have good temperaments is very important because um, you know that's what it's all about. They have to be pets first and foremost. We want, of course, the beauty of our breed, but first and foremost. We want temperaments that are stable and that are fun to live with, and uh, you know, that's, that's right. what it's all about. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thank, thank you very much, Elena, and uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We're going to sign off now. Next up, we're going to see these gorgeous four month and three week old puppies. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to see a puppy show. Enjoy. Hi everybody, this is Gary Weitz for Purebred Studios and we have a special event today. We have Cindy Taylor's litter, the Masada Mata Shiraz litter, born May 25th, 2013, about to appear in their first show, the Puppy Ring here in Del Valle Kennel Club. Pleasanton, California, it is the 20th of October, 2013, and here we are with this gorgeous litter and you'll see them right in front of our eyes now just shy of five months this is the four to six month puppy dog class and puppy bitch class they're combined and our judge today is mr or make that doctor jerry klein and he is an afghan fancier and breeder and uh, my recollection is that uh, dr klein is also the breeder of a recent afghan hunt of america national specialty show winner so He's uh, a real sighthound kind of a guy. Okay, here's Dr. Klein taking his first look at his biggest class of puppies here. We've had other hound groups or hound breeds in the ring and uh, very small entries, except for this one, except for this one, the Saluki entry. Again, they were born just short of five months ago. Uh, Cindy Taylor is the breeder and Elena Edwards, who you'll see, uh, both of them, is the co-breeder and Cindy hails from uh, Mill Valley, California uh, on the trail to Muir Woods just north of San Francisco and Elena is down from down south Southern California and here's Dr. Klein about to uh, bring them all around I think for the first time and here they come around the first two maybe all of them here they come oh these little, look at this is going to be crazy this is absolutely going to be nuts what a day and at least that's the first four i guess and we've got a couple more three more yeah three more and here they come here comes elena and cindy and then my wife susan and it's crazy as they say there's a little bailey bear right there we're going away on the outside He's, she's just uh, beside herself. Okay, here's our first little puppy. And let's see if we can get a good close-up of that. This is uh, Deborah Knutson showing Drambui. This is Masada uh, Mata Shiraz, Life by the Drop, also known as Drambui. And again, Deborah Knutson is showing. First time in the show ring for all of these little puppies, and this is just for warm-ups and practice and uh, get them used to someone coming and putting their hands on them, examining them all over. Here comes Deb. And we'll s swing our camera back over to Mike Edwards. And there's our next entry, and this is Delan, and this is uh, Living in Paradise. Uh, Uta Leonard's and Cindy Taylor own this second entry. I should mention that Cindy Taylor and Brian Barth own the first entry. 
Mike Edwards, former Navy flyer in Vietnam. I uh, feel like a brother as I'm a Vietnam veteran as well. Only I was not a flyer. I was in amphibious operations on the ground and in the water. Anyway, here's Mike, former Lieutenant Mike Edwards and Uta Leonards. Uta is from Germany and uh, Cindy and Uta have done some breeding together in the past and hence she will be picking up this puppy sometime soon. Not sure exactly when. Okay, here comes Mike and Uta's little Salugi. Looking good, looking good. Okay, here's Brian Barth handling our next little puppy. And this is Dior. This is living the dream. Dior. <laughs> Maza Mata Shiraz living the dream. Uh, Michael and Elena Edwards and Cindy Taylor are listed as owners. Oh, this is Durango. Oh, sorry about that. Must have reversed the order on me. This is Durango. Oh, this is Cindy and Brian. It is Brian back there. I think they kind of did one of these. <laughs> All right, getting some help from some folks behind me here. Always good to help the old man. Yeah, this is what they do. This this breed is, do I really want to do this? There we go. This is another entry. This is the uh, entry that uh, we're not sure of. This is the only one that's not in our litter, but uh, let's film this little creature anyway. Yes, there was one puppy that's entered in this class that's not part of this entry, this this particular breeding. So give him a look. Boy, he looks pretty good to me. He looks like he's been in the ring before, but uh, that's highly unlikely in that this is a four to six month puppy class. Okay, and now we have Elena Edwards. And okay, this is Dior. We've uh, naturally in puppy classes, things are confused. So we've got some of the numbers messed up in terms of order. And I want to tell you, of course, all these puppies look the same to this guy. So here's Dior and Elena. They are all over the place, aren't they? And now here's Cindy. Here is the breeder, Cindy Taylor, getting her entry ready. And I think this is Desiree. I hope it's Desiree. <laughs> Life is a song worth living. Cindy and Brian are the co-owners. Just all over the place, aren't they? Just little tykes, real cuties. Here is Bailey. This is Bailey Bear. And again, this is the White's entry. 
Gary and Susan, myself Gary and my wife Susan and Cindy Coon. And this is Mas Masada Mata Shiraz. It's a Wonderful Life. And uh, we named her after the Christmas movie, of course, It's a Wonderful Life. And uh, naturally, we call her Bailey. And lately, it's been Bailey Bear. Here comes little Bailey Bear. There's Bailey Bear. What a cutie. She is uh, terrorizing the rest of our Salukis, the other two, and our two cats. And uh, piece of work, just a little piece of work. Tail going 100% of the time, even when sleeping, I think. Here she comes, Bailey Bear. <laughs> and I absolutely anticipated a jump toward the end, because she just is a lover. Okay, here's Dr. Klein, Dr. Jared Klein, and he's going to take two around again, two of the folks around again, the handlers and their little Salukis. This is where the placements really don't matter. It's just a lot of fun. Everybody having a good time here. And I think Dr. Klein has made his decision. That's the way it would appear. And uh, looks like the ribbons are about to go out. And congratulations to one and all. I think they pick a, a best boy and a best girl here. I'm not sure. In any event, there are the winners receiving their awards. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little clip, everybody, of this wonderful litter. The Living Life Litter, The Loving Life Litter, Cindy Taylor, and co-bred by Elena Edwards.